Coulter Cottrell with the RULH Dual Credit Multimedia Program. And today I'm here with John Ward, a local artist. How are you doing today? Doing well, thank you. Uh, I understand that you're a student here at Ripley. Uh, when did you graduate? 1979. 1979, and how long have you been an artist? Uh, commercially for about 30 years now, but I've been painting and drawing since I was five, six years old. Um, and uh, how did you get your, like, your big start? What got you into it? I guess got to say my father did. He was an artist also, and uh, he showed me the basics when I was younger, but I was mostly doing uh, pencil work and stuff like that, but he on occasion would uh, get commissioned by restaurants or uh, hotels to do a, a four foot by eight foot painting of a covered bridge or wildlife scene or something like that. And I would do a little painting or a little bit of the painting somewhere on the piece while he was working on the other part. Uh, his style and mine were a little different, so um, he was a lot faster. He was a little more surrealism than I was. Um, I guess I was more on a little bit more realistic than he was at the time, but um, he showed me the basics, proportion, scale, color, all that type of stuff when I was younger. So because you got your start with your father, you planned to be an artist since you were pretty young? No, I did not. You did not? No, I did not. When did you plan on becoming a full-time artist? Well, back then I didn't think uh, there was any money in um, art or not enough to support a family. So that's why I ended up going into the engineering field. So when I went to college, it, it was several years, probably close to 12 years. I was probably in my early 30s before I got back into painting. So I didn't touch a brush for years. And in doing so, I probably should kick myself because I don't know where I'd be at today. But then on the other hand, it made me mature and all my pieces now come out so much better. Yeah. Um, I think that alone made me grow up and slow down and in doing so my work has gotten so much more refined and a whole lot better. Can you tell us about your first piece? My first painting was when I was about 16 and it was the North Pole Covered Bridge out here on Eagle Creek and it wasn't a very big painting but I entered it in the uh, during the science fair and art show combo as they still do that today? Yeah, they still have science fairs and that do kind they, of stuff. Do they have the art show with it now? Uh, some schools do. Well, they, they had it here, and that was when we were down at the old school. And I uh, entered that piece, and it actually won the district. Nice. Uh, how about the very your, first piece. How about your favorite piece? My favorite piece? Well, I'd say it probably have to be the wolves. It's maybe, a nice maybe an international piece. artist. Um, as an artist, what would you say was your hardest challenge to overcome? Putting myself out there. Why is that? That wasn't my nature. I was in high school pretty quiet. I wasn't out front and in everybody's face or anything like that. I was kind of a guy in the background. Um, over the years, uh, I joined a fraternity when I was in college, and that kind of brought me out of my shell somewhat because I uh, held all the positions in the fraternity from president to warden to push chairman, all, just all kinds of things like that. And so that kind of opened me up to getting out there and doing more stuff. All right. And uh, other than uh, here with us today, where can we see some of your pieces? I have my website. Uh, johnwardstudio.com and then I'm on Pinterest and Facebook and uh, lots of galleries and uh, places like that carry my work. Well you just gained a Facebook follower. Uh, <laughs> what would you consider to be your biggest influence in your art? Uh, I'm talking about individual? Uh, uh, just uh, in general. I see a lot of nature. Yeah. I guess if I have my picks, uh, I like doing wildlife and nature first. I, I like doing a lot of nostalgia, history. So I like a lot of old architecture. That's why you see a lot of covered bridges and, and stuff in my inventory. Um, there's a lot of things that interest me, but 
I'm very fond of things that bring back good memories and stuff when I was a kid. And all this stuff did when I grew up here in Ripley at the time. And uh, all the things you see on the wall are things I experienced. So I just don't paint the paint, paint it. There's a reason behind it. Yeah. Uh, would you have any tips for other people who are interested in art, maybe want to give a shot at it? Any tips you'd give them for making it in the art world? Well, I think you have to be, of course, you got to have the talent to start. And unfortunately, like I say, everybody doesn't have that. Um, I can look at somebody in about five, ten minutes, and if they sit there and sketch for me and do little things, I can determine if they're able to learn some new techniques and be able to improve their skills. I can I can look at that pretty quickly. Um, so, with that being said, I'd say that it'd be good to work on the basics. Uh, put yourself out there. Don't keep yourself in a box. If I was always told this. You can be the best artist in the world if your paintings are hanging on your wall in your house. Who's ever going to know? I, I understand that. you got to be able to put yourself out there so people right. get to know you. Well, thank you for talking to us today. Um, and I really enjoyed looking at your pieces. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.